Welcome to the KFM Driver, Kelly Eve Quipman and Sarah Summers. You're doing a web series, right? That would be the accurate term. Yes. yes. A web series entitled Coloured Mentality. Yes. And I suppose the most obvious boring question, but the important question is why? Right. So, okay. In about three weeks, we're going on something called the Indigenous Liberation Walk yep. um, with a bunch of really awesome Khoi activists. And we'll be walking from Fort Beaufort in the Eastern Cape to the castle and going on a journey being guided through our own Indigenous heritage and stopping at various towns on the route. That being said, before embarking on this, we recognize that we inhabit a very specific context in Cape Town with specific questions um, related to our identity that we grapple with and that we need to interrogate before embarking on this um re-understanding of our history and our heritage so we first wanted to anchor ourselves in what we're already dealing with in our in our, re- our immediate context yeah. before embarking on this walk and documentary we'll be f- we'll be doing a documentary on the walk how, um yeah. how does that play out in your daily lives you're going about your business doing what you do having relations enjoying people family friends how does this struggle with your identity and who you are how does that manifest i think that that com- conversation can be applied to everyone right because how do we understand ourselves when we live in our daily lives and i think the fact that the conversation has grown so much and so many people have become engaged with it is because we want to take this identity more seriously because in a post-apartheid south africa we've kind of been given like the soothing balm that is everything's fine but there are still challenges that we need to address and so because we felt that manifested in our own lives we made it a public discussion um, I think if you want to go deep into how it, we struggled with it, Kelly and I were, were deeply unhappy with the way things worked and we didn't want to just fit in. So we wanted to help ourselves. And, and again, I was deeply unhappy with the way things worked. How? On a political level of how you, you perceive colored people to be treated? How? When you say you weren't happy with the way things worked, what are those things? I think we also started realizing that very important questions related to deconstructing difficult issues like identity, race and privilege were happening in spaces where we didn't feel that they were really translating into action, into spaces that needed them. So we found ourselves in the situation where we are equipped in a way that we can have all these, you know, intense conversations around what our positionality is, what it means to be a colored person, all these terms, but we're recognizing this massive disparity between those conversations and the fact that it needs to be involving so many different people because the practical manifestations of that are so intense and far-reaching in Cape Town across our rural communities there are significant and varied social realities that are part of this lived experience of being colored being brown being black however people choose to identify yep. under this because I suppose a, a lot of research has been done I know particularly a lot of research done around um, this notion of uh, the colored vote particularly in the Western Cape uh, and the, of course the underlying assumption is that it is a, a homogenous community which is absolute nonsense absolutely um, and so I'm int- interested as to how you we, we're three episodes in now right yeah yes. yeah how did you go about how many topics firstly are you covering over the course of the web series we have six topics in total and was it was it easy to get to the six to nail it down to just the six how did you go about deciding what what you were specifically going to cover we we honestly chose topics that were reflected in the struggles we had so we were like how do we understand ourselves in terms of black consciousness so are colored people black mm. you know what is a colored person um does colored privilege exist because we sit in a position of relative privilege what is color culture these are things that we didn't understand for ourselves and that's how we decided how to frame the web series uh, so we're talking about colored mentality this web series how did you do you go about choosing the participants the people who who you who you are featured in in the documentary um so it happened very fast mostly because over this past year Kelly and I've kind of had to like dig down and just focus on things and we realize if we want something to happen you just have to make it happen super quickly yeah. um, and so we had about a couple of days where we secured all our Guests. Our guests. Um, and then we did a lot of cold calling. Also, Kelly is an actress, so she knew um, some of the actors from jobs <laughs> that she's done. And then <laughs> our producers of the documentary is Gambit, who produced at Worcester, who introduced us to some of the other guests, and yeah. then they decided whether or not they wanted to do it. Um, and a lot of people also said no. I was just about to ask, did you have a lot of pushback just in terms of no, yeah, not, not yeah. interested? Yeah, we got a lot of no's. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I know uh, f- based on uh, what I've read and, and previous interviews you've done that you, you, you've set out on this task not knowing, not having preconceived notions necessarily or not, not having a, an end in mind in terms of a conclusion or you weren't setting out to answer the question what is colored mentality, were you? No. As a, as a definitive answer, I suppose. I don't think, th- I think that to, to try and pose a definitive answer would be a, p- a problem in terms of the fact that yeah. there are so many multiple answers. So what we're trying to do is engage with this multiplicity 
to or, or multiple identities and lived yeah. experience that form that th- can collect under this term. I think so. also what we see with colored mentality is actually s- like citizens, normal people yep. taking their power, right? Mm. And so if we go now that we've been given this position of power because people find our conversation topical, w- to use that for our own motives would be to yeah. to lose yeah. it, right? So, also so identity is not homogenous. It is not. I don't think it's one thing. Yeah, I don't no. Think uh, you can pose one one answer as to what. Completely. Is. Have you, from your subjective point of view as coloured woman, having seen what you've seen thus far in terms of your respondents, have you learnt anything new? Have you made any conclusions for yourself? That book, Kelly, that's changing your life. I think. Oh yeah, I think what's also been really cool is that the platforms have been become the space where people have been so involved beyond just even commenting. People are sharing readings. People are sharing personal essays. You know, their like their their favorite like kind of academic discourses. And then even again on the walk, I mean, we are so aware that that experience is going to enlighten us into so many different perspectives that we really have no, we don't have access to at this point. That's going to be yeah. a completely different engagement. So yes, we have learned. I'm, a I'm lot. excited for that. I'm um, excited to yeah. see the conversation go out of my comfort zone yeah, exactly um to go out of my bubble and see what what it means there so uh, correct me if i'm wrong this is a thousand kilometers that you will be traversing yes how much of that will actually be walked so about 400 yeah, it's um, about 350 too much uh, <laughs> so have you are you generally i mean you look like fit and healthy people but i mean have you that's a nice compliment no. okay. but i think we've been putting a lot into mentally and emotionally preparing yeah. for the whole process i mean also we never expected the web series to do as well as it did sure. and which just gave us a whole new set of workload so we haven't been as prepared um, we haven't prepared a enough regimen. Um, <laughs> we're going into I'm very like scared <laughs> I think that people are going to see me suffer how many days 12 I mean, what, what's the math on that I think it's about, it's about um, 40, 30, 30 to 40k 30 a, a day um, and then we stop in the various communities where the activists do like activations with communities yeah. teaching, and teaching yeah. them about and I imagine you'll be filming a lot of that as well everything, everything. yeah okay. the documentary Great. is going to be filming the walk so how many are you, are you releasing one video a week in terms of the documentary? In terms of the web series, I mean... Yeah, yeah. one a week, oh. every Thursday. And then once once you've documented the walk, what happens then in terms of the, the footage? So in terms of the, the actual documentary, that will be a film. Right, That okay. will be, a, 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 hopefully, you know, some cinematic release and what, um, whatever happens after that. But we're also thinking that in terms of the platforms we've created, it would be really great while we're walking to still use those and even through our cell phones or whatever yeah. other mediums be so uploading content. So we'd like to keep the, the um, Facebook platform engaging in yeah. terms of what we're doing, but the actual documentary entry will yeah. be a full length feature that please God will have an international release. Yeah. All right. Good. That's fair. And you're looking for people to send through their stories there from their personal views, uh, colored people of what it means to them to be colored, what what they could deem to or, or each question. Or each question. So okay. Each week people can answer the question. So this right. week are colored people black is the question. Okay. Uh, as simply put as that, maybe not the most <laughs> simplest of answers, but the the WhatsApp number that you need to send through your... Are you looking at voice notes, videos? Well, videos, voice notes, both. W- yeah. Okay. Um, it's 062-857-5918. 657 5918. 5918. Uh, Terence will put that up on our Facebook page as Thank well. You. Thank you. Um, and so, if you would like to, as the web series goes along, uh, answer those questions uh, as the weeks go by. And really, uh, good luck with the walk. Thank you Thank very you. much. Just make sure you eat enough bananas, <laughs> uh, hydrate, and for the rest of it, I mean. And they don't lose toenails. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, make sure you have the right shoes. I don't know what you plan on walking in. Uh, make sure you've got the right shoes. Uh, thank you so much for coming thank in. You. Thank you.